People cope with hardships in many ways. Some people cry, others get angry, and some just give up. But not if you're from the Balkans. You may think you know the internet, but trust me, you don't know anything about Balkan people internet. <laughs> One of the funniest and most interesting corners of the web is yeah. Balkan people internet. <laughs> That, in internet years, spans Balkan history, which is so in-depth that you probably couldn't cover it all in one video. Mm -hmm. But what you should know is that it consists of some of the Bulgaria! greatest empires in history. Communism and fascism, religious wars, ethnic wars, world wars, and most- Yeah, see, these are the kinds of people that, like, all those, like, the e those Euro Eastern European countries, like, start- I just cannot wait for him to, to say something about us. Serbian, right? It's like, I remember one time I said that the people over there are so poor they can't afford snow. <laughs> and they got so mad. <laughs> they got so mad. And like, and they're the ones that'll always try to do like this dark humor, like make bad jokes about shit. You, if you ever want to make somebody like this mad, just ask them about their local politics. Like they can make themselves more mad that you can than you can ever make them. Recently, and ironically, it's true. The internet. Why do you think Trump is bad? Like, if you didn't know, it's this region in Europe made up of the following nations, and yeah. these nations don't particularly like each other. Here's a safe rule when wondering which nation is friends with which in mm -hmm. the Balkans. If the two countries share a border, they don't like each other. If they oh. don't share a border, there's a seventy percent. <laughs> At least I don't live in America. El Asmongold. Nah, don't be like that. Percent chance they don't like each other. There's probably One a of reason the defining for that. Defining characteristics of the typical yeah. Balkan YouTube commenter is nationalism. But I don't <laughs> want you to interpret this as a nationalist in the West. Yeah. Oh, here in America, we don't tolerate that kind of crap, sir. In the Balkans, nationalism is the norm. Due to the many yeah. hardships endured by these people, oftentimes inflicted by neighboring countries, when I say hardships, I'm not talking a trade agreement fell through, I'm talking wars, annexation. Yeah, yeah, like they don't have, um, like, uh, electricity and, like, the person who's in charge takes all the money, and then you go to the grocery store and there's no food there. Like, no, I mean, like, this isn't a hardship as in, there were times like that. Like, Wendy's raised the price of, like, the double stack by 35 cents. And Gene O'Sides. Yeah, no, it's bad over there. You get what I mean? To show you what I mean, here are some examples. Yeah. Is it bad over there? Over here? Hold up, section. I mean, hell, yeah. Long where, the, where are the question marks for? It's not that bad. Some places it is. I've seen it. What, what places are that bad? I mean... A lot of Bulgarians will say that Bulgaria is a terrible place to live and there is no future here, but it's not true. Bulgaria is actually pretty nice. Ottoman Empire. Bulgarians above all. <laughs> Bulgarians rulers of the world. True! We Bulgarians are the kings of the wor world! Warriors. Bulgarians creators of almost all civilizations. Now you might know this country in Europe, by the way see these as bad or hilarious depending yeah. on who you are but remember nationalism is the norm for people who grew up here so they yeah, took sure. to the internet to share their disdain for each other posting some of the most ridiculous what does it say so they took to the internet to share their if you are a normal person on balkan you don't need to wear a seatbelt because we are dying like men <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> yeah wow the comments are interesting. all right Stain for each other, posting some of the funny. They think we live in the Stone Age. Okay, which country is actually really bad to live right now in the Balkans? Because I mean, in Bulgaria is totally fine. I mean, Bulgaria is getting so much better in the last, let's say, twenty years or something. Moldova. I have no information about it, but let's see. What, what, what's happening there? Do you have any information? Uh, I'm Albanian. I want to say the one thing. Serbs and Albanians wake up. We're the same. You don't remember what we were before. Milosevic brothers. In the Middle Age, we were great allies. And we will always make free Balkans. We were the Balkan Knights. Also in 1918. Eight Albanian from north helped Serbs to make the first state of Serbia. The father of my grandfather was there. Let's go. 
he he's the chosen one. I don't know. I've heard they are even more poor and miserable than us. We are not poor and miserable, bro. Have you ever seen the cities and the cars in Bulgaria? If you go outside and you see the cars that we have, you would think that we are in uh, fucking uh, Dubai or something. Sofia is good. Varna is good. I mean, a lot of cities are actually good. I can say I'm from Dobrich, really small, t really small city. Uh, basically, city without future because there is no university. There is not good place for work. The only good thing that you can work is uh, farming. I'm not sure how to say it in English. Like I think it's farming, like uh, having uh, land and doing everything. Major cities are good, true. And in this city, there are more Lamborghinis or like like really really cool cars then i don't know in fucking dubai like every five minutes you can see insane car and this is the city where you don't have future i don't know where where these people have these monies but you can see it from the cars but the rest of the rest is bad so it's bring down the average the rest think about it how many people live in sofia literally one third of our population lives in Sofia. So if Sofia is good, let's say Varna is good. I think Plovdiv is good as well. I'm not sure about Burgas, but I mean, every every city around uh, the sea is good, in my opinion, because we have uh, tourism. Uh, a few, like the last few years, not that good, but after the coronavirus, things are getting better and better. Uh, there are huge difference between the rich richest people and the poorest people I, I i'm i don't know the statistics i have to check it for, to be sure but big percent of our our country has his own house apartment or land i don't know i don't feel like bulgaria is bad the most ridiculous and un and people that are telling me that there is no future in bulgaria and there is no way you can get education uh progress in bulgaria the only way is to go outside of bulgaria and work i don't think it's actually true a lot of businesses are better in bulgaria i'd not rather live anywhere else i don't think it's bad at all i'd not rather live anywhere else me too me too i want to live here and i'll keep living here the only way i go outside of bulgaria is to literally like uh, trips or something or just to explore the world at some point Unintentionally hilarious yeah. comments of all time without a shred of irony. But if you know anything about internet irony, mm -hmm. you know things tend to go in a circle. These comments yeah. were so ridiculous that people started creating archives of them in places like r slash Balkan people internet. Right. Which would go on to be banned for promoting nationalism, which is the opposite of what it was supposed to do. It was making fun of the nationalism. But this will be a theme going forward, trust me. The irony would be pushed so far that people would start parodying their own cultures, not mm -hmm. just other cultures, which ended up creating one of the greatest and most influential subreddits of all time. What's this? Not just for Reddit, but for I've internet. I've never even heard of this. Culture. They created r slash to Balkan for you. What? This community took Balkan people in <laughs> and cranked up the irony to a million. The whole point of this community was Balkan people coming together to make fun of each other by parodying. What's this? Racist gay <laughs> for war crimes. <laughs> Man, that's great. Wow. Fun of each other <laughs> by parodying their own nationalism, which in turn spawns mm -hmm. some of the most iconic internet memes of this generation. Yeah. The most blank in blank meme was widely popularized due to its use on two Balkan free. Is that the average Bulgarian is poorer than the rest of the world? How, how, uh, can you give me statistics or something? You. It also uh -huh. included parodying the stereotypes that were used by many Balkan internet posters. Yeah. Now you as an outsider might look at this and say, hey, these people are making fun of each other based on things that I'm not comfortable with. Therefore, it's not okay. But I present a counter argument. Balkan culture. Here's the counter argument. Shut the fuck up, you bitch. Stop telling other people what to talk about and go live your own life. If at any point in the world, you're concerned about two other groups of people that are having a disagreement on the internet as in a context for that you are disapproving of. You need to get off. You, you need to reevaluate your life. Just right there. Just stop. Just stop. Like you, you've, you've, you've crossed over. Just <laughs> stop it. You will lose her. They just need to stop. Yeah, exactly. 
This in a joking way. It's yeah, what I know. You can Google around. those statistics. They're just trying to have fun. But, well, this is the problem with people on, like, places <laughs> like Reddit. Is, like, a lot of them are, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, I wouldn't really say autistic. I hate to use autistic because I feel like most people that are autistic think this shit probably is just as funny as we do. Neurodivergent in one way or another. Or socially not leveled up. And so they see a group of guys joking around about something that makes them uncomfortable. And they put themselves in that position. And they feel uncomfortable. So then they project that onto everybody else. Culture is nothing like your culture. First of all, yeah. Our economy is also cheaper. I feel like uh, Bulgaria is in states where if a few things changes, we can literally boost ourselves so much. And it's just a matter of time for that to happen. Yeah. It's normal in Balkan culture to make fun of people and to not take that personally. Second of all, remember sure all do. of these countries raised people to be extremely proud of their heritage and their roots yep. because historically there is a very good chance they've been wronged by their neighbors at some point in the past or their own due government. to the sheer volume of history of government. the Balkans. Yep. As a result of this, a lot of people would just avoid talking to anyone from a neighboring country due to the stereotypes they were raised on. Too Balkan for you babies for what does this say? Baby's first very baby's very first prejudice hatred. Oh god. Good for you flip this narrative completely on its head by uniting people from the Balkans with one yeah. thing they all had in common. Nationalism. <laughs> This video was made possible yeah. by Raycon. Look, you already know what Raycon is, so let me skip the formalities. Raycon's everyday earbuds have optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. Meaning not only are they comfortable, but they won't fall out. Trust me, I've tried. They also have over 8 hours of playtime and 32 mm hours. -hmm. By the way, Aspen Gold hasn't drunk water for years. Unless he was joking, but if he's not joking, I don't know how he's still alive. I can tell you that uh, there is a lot of Balkans that are not drinking water as well. They're drinking only alcohol or like anything else but water. I know people like that too. So I can believe that uh, Asmongold is not drinking water. <laughs> he drank water once on stream and he said it tasted bad. <laughs> uh, because there is no taste. That's why hours of battery life which is insanely convenient nothing worse than having your headphones die on you. but yeah, there the are people that are not drinking great, water but just the passive noise and they're, isolation they're live, and stereo sometimes they live longer than no more mom walking in on you gaming the normal oh, people also sweat and video. water resistant built to withstand that accidental oops i left them in my pocket and now i put them in the wash I so don't if you want to take advantage of this deal and get 15 percent <laughs> off your wash my clothes order, okay, click good. the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com forward slash ghost gum to get 15% yeah. off your Raycon purchase. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring this video. He's Let's used to Coca-Cola. It. It's this nationalism for their Bring country that they were insights. able to bond That must over. taste Many better. Many users of Two Balkan mm -hmm. for you argue that they would have never had perspectives on their neighbors and their upbringings had it not be for the subreddit. When in reality, they have a lot more in common than they originally thought. I guess you could say it was ironic realizing they hated each other was the reason they came together. But either way, they came together. One of the heads... Well, you could tell this, like, there are tons of people that... Like, uh, this is th this is the story of Xbox Live. It is like, yeah, of course you start off by calling each other racial slurs, <laughs> and then after that, you become friends. True. Yeah, that's the way it is. It's a PvP server? Yeah. Like, most of the boys are like that. You you start to insult someone, you fight, and then we, you became friends. Two Balkan for you has explicitly stated that if it weren't for the subreddit, mm -hmm. he, as a Greek person, would have never met his Macedonian or Turkish friends. He claims that if the subreddit never existed, tons of Balkan people would still hold the same perspective of their neighbors. That's they right. They were also able to turn up the irony and laugh at the people who took their nationalism seriously. So in a bizarre roundabout <laughs> layered way they cooled the tensions in historically one of the most tense regions on the entire planet yep. it's like cranking up the ac and the heat at the same time to achieve an average temperature Burn. and it worked now you see this perspective is a bit nuanced. no i think the reason why it works is because people th this is that's not the reason why it worked in my opinion i think the reason why it worked is it allowed people a place with no consequences to communicate with each other honestly 
I think that, and this is probably true with most places, if you put a random Korean guy, a Brazilian guy, a Russian guy, and a guy from America in a room together, and somehow they all spoke the same language, and there was no consequences to a disagreement or saying the wrong thing, they would be able to get along, it would be fine. Consequences? What do you mean about consequences? I mean, imagine if I... No, uh, okay, if you say it. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, if you slap someone, there will be consequences. But if you're just talking, yeah. That if you look at a lot of the old movies, especially older war movies, this is a fundamental of almost all of these older war movies, where it's like a guy from, you know, Mississippi is with this other black guy from, like, Washington, sure. and there's this dude from, like, New York, and then there's, like, some guy from Puerto Rico, and they all get along, and they end up accomplishing something together in the Friends for Life, right? Like, and, and you see how many military movies are like this. And so that's the real reason why it worked. And I think that's what's so great about the internet. I'm, I'm glad to see this video because like this is one of the things that, it, it, it's weird because it's always the people that think they're doing a good thing that end up being the worst. And so they see people that are communicating in an honest way. And these people are so used to being coddled by lies that they view honesty as evil. So military is, yeah, yeah. Actual escape uh, formation. So, yeah, yeah. It, there's a lot of things. Yeah, Band of Brothers, like all of this stuff. Many shows are built around this. In World War One, soldiers from opposing sides celebrated Christmas together. Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing and reading about that. Yeah, but I and I think in general. That kind of stuff doesn't happen when you have some administrative group of people that think that they're doing a good thing by controlling the ways that people are able to communicate with each other. And I think the funny thing about it is that the Reddit joke police that got mad about this are effectively doing the exact same thing that I bet a lot of these Balkan people hate their fucking government for doing. They're probably being censored. They're being told what they can and can't say. They're being segmented across from each other. And they're being told that you can't interact or be around other people. This is, and, and I think this is one of the things that there's a group of people on the internet that stand to gain for a degree of like discord and discontentment and separation of people. Because, yeah, I think that there's a lot of guys, and, like, you see this, like, people love Pilav, for example. Pilav, I think, was from the Balkans. I'm, like, 90% sure he was. People thought he was great. He was funny. And so, like, instead of ha but, like, everybody's always complaining about him, like, making bad jokes or, like, saying bad things, right? They're always mad about this. But at the end of the day, that's the way that you, that's the way that you bond with somebody. But weirdos that, you know, again, had no friends... Uh, don't know how to make friends, and they lived their entire life on the internet, and the only thing that they like to do is talk about the reasons why they won't interact with other people. Um, these are the people that want to define the rules of engagement of society. Yeah, basically, they have nothing else to do. So the toxicity is the only thing that gives him, gives them, like, I don't know, hope or, like, in, to enjoy something, to enjoy their life, I guess, which is kind of sad. It's a huge problem. It really is. And you can see it right here. What do you mean? He just <laughs> defined himself, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no! Asman Goat is good guy. I mean, he he's uh, kind of... But he didn't realize. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. He... Okay, 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 okay. I mean, he's talking facts. Someone who never spoke with someone else. I mean, people that are actually living... Uh, without any interactions, like pretend that uh, you edu you're educated and you live alone, you don't see your family, uh, you don't go outside, you work from home. I mean, even if you work from home, you had you have to have meetings with the workers. No, there's still interaction. How these people exist, though? And hard to understand if you don't have a background in the Balkans. Although you could just talk to a Balkan person about that to get the perspective, but hey, it might take a second to realize that yeah. even if I don't like this, these people are okay with making fun of each other and being made fun of. Reddit admins <laughs> do not think like this. You see, yeah. there's one type of person that no matter what, 
people in two Balkan for you unironically hate it. People the Balkan the for you is actually and of course true. they do. Absolutely they do. Now I think reason number one is probably history. I I, I think that it's interesting that history make us hate each other, make us uh, doing bad stuff, but we don't learn nothing from history to like improve it. It's it's it, it, it's the same stupid mistakes that humanity is making. But no, history is only bad things that uh, uh, Mr. George made 50 years ago, and now we hate, um, I don't know, Asmon Gold because of that. Because George did something bad to us 500 years ago, which is completely... I think that probably plays a pretty big factor. But then also, I think that a lot of people don't like, and I think this is true with a lot of uh, Eastern and like Asian cultures. I know that especially for Chinese culture, it feels like they think this way, is that people don't want to be talked down to by people from other cultures. Period. Is it? They don't want to be uh, Are they? Are judged. Chinese like that? They don't want to be told what they can and can't say. Wait, no one likes to be judged. Everyone hates to be wrong this is like human thing for sure they don't want to have the rules for what they can and can't think defined i don't think by it's them, just chinese to, to them by somebody who like is not even part of their culture so i actually think it's a very fundamental reason it's not actually something that's unique to balkans or you know yeah, exactly. chinese people or anything i think it's in general Nobody embodies the stereotypical, terminally online, babied Western person than the average Redditor. A couple yep. of people came after True. Two Balkan for you, most notably the users of AHS, but it was nothing more than people just What's complaining. What's AHS? What is this, like, uh... A against hate subreddits. I get it. <laughs> Why don't they make a stand against the subreddits that celebrate fat animals because they create a reward structure around overfeeding pets? Why don't they do wait, that? Wait, 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 wait. I saw a comment. I saw a comment that. Wait, what do you mean? Reward structure around overfeeding wait, wait, wait. pets. Do they have women? In the Balkans! What do you mean? Bro! I will find this guy. I will find this guy. What do you mean? Do they have women? No, we have uh, donkeys. The mess. Why don't they do that? Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like that would be... That would be good. I mean, why not just take an easy W there? Reddit Incorporated confirms to media that groomer defamation aimed at LGBT people uh, violates uh, site-wide rule one. So LGBT people can't groom people? Of wait, course wait. they can. Everybody can. Wait, wait I think So I, I, LGBT I, I, people can't groom people? Uh, site-wide rule one. Same as... okay. So LGBT people can't groom people? Of course they can. Everybody can. Of course, all LGBT aren't groomers. And this is the problem, right? Is that these are people that I think have both... No, there's the three things. Undiagnosed mental illnesses, self-diagnosed mental illnesses, and actual diagnosed mental illnesses. And that dark triad creates a Reddit moderator. <laughs> and you see these people that have absolutely zero social skills, and that's why they've been sequestered to some random internet subreddit that acts like it's some kind of fucking, uh, uh, it's some kind of hall monitor, some, like, safety crossing guard with, like, some website because they're worried about this. These are the biggest fucking losers that you can ever imagine. That's why I never used Reddit to brain rot. Me too. I mean, I've... I've, like, found a few things that are useful to me. I mean, let's say I have something that's, uh, like, basically some information, and there is no other sites to find this information. You can find it there. I mean, someone at some point had this problem, and there is a solution. You can find it there. 
But otherwise, I don't think it's a good place <laughs> to be. Literally the biggest fucking yeah. losers. Solutions like, to my problems. Like, do you remember when they interviewed that person from anti-work and they were a 30-year-old <clears throat> balding dog walker that could barely explain themselves and talked like a fucking idiot? You have to keep in mind that's the person that they decided to put up there. So what do you think that says about the rest of them? But it was nothing more than people just <sighs> complaining, failing to understand the point of the subreddit. Asmon Goat. What are you doing? What are you doing with your nose? Hmm? Hmm? Which yeah. wasn't to be mean or hurtful, but make fun of So we were poor. Hmm. Of that. It was just a small group of Redditors, though, so who... Yeah, this is a, uh... These are the people that... Th these people are the ones that are stopping racism in a country that they can't find on the map. <laughs> really care. <laughs> ah, <laughs> sure. You did take some steps in changing the subreddit to be more <laughs> advertiser-friendly in order to not get it banned. Such as changing some user flares and making sure no unironic stuff got through. But yeah. this wouldn't stop them from the attack that was about to come. Not from the Reddit mods, but the Reddit admins. In particular, one notoriously awful admin. Now, as previously discussed in another video, admins and mods are very different people. To understand this simply, admins are pa paid employees of Reddit, whereas mods are basically slaves. Mods are the ones who get individuals banned, admins are the ones who get entire subs banned. Now in doing yeah. research for this video, I got in touch with the head admin of 2 balkan for you who had direct interactions with a certain Reddit admin. Mm -hmm. The messages between them perfectly paint the picture of he why- He means a certain mod for 2 balkan for you that had interactions with a Reddit mod or a Reddit admin. Sorry, I mean, he just, he, like, just so you guys understand the uh, vocabulary here. Balkan for you was banned. So yeah. this admin Cheetor? Cheetor? I think that's how you pronounce uh -huh. it. Is Chitor? the one we're going to be talking about. You might know her because she got caught abusing her powers on r slash place to erase stuff she didn't like, essentially defeating the whole purpose of place. Cheetor. Did you hit a huge number of others when we were. Target one another. We have recently had to remove fear from number. Similar to yours, the same reason. It's also good to keep in mind that it's a joke. It's not going to be valid reasons to allow hit for content of any kind. <laughs> the way it, we are it being is poetic, used, isn't it? Oh, um, Cheetor was cheating. You know, like that. It. It. It's. Y you know, like, wow, pure fucking cinema. How does this happen? I, I, I just... I don't even know what to say. It's so... it's just so ridiculous. I had taken some issue with 2 Balkan for you, citing that the user flares were in direct violation of Reddit yeah. Rule 1. Here are the user flares on screen that they used to make fun of each other. Anal-banian, gay Greek, gay reek, gay gay. Where is Bulgaria? Uh... Ah, Bulgarian gypsies! Ah, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's Bulgarian gypsy. Why, why gypsy though? Bosnak, fake people, Slovenian femboy, Serbia, <laughs> landlocked genocide, Croatian <laughs> Nazi, Turk wow. roach, Ottoman disabled son, Bulgar Mongol horde, <laughs> oh, monkey Donian, Mont <laughs> oh, I don't know if I could even say that one, <laughs> Romanian gypsy. Ah, oh Romanian! It's yeah. not Bulgarian yeah, gypsies! This, Let go! Um, we're not part of this! This humor is How? way too we're Eastern not part European of this. for Westerners. Yeah, yeah, I can see why. I, 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 I'm sure there's a lot of overweight people that are at Starbucks that are very upset about this. <laughs> yeah. They're sitting comfortably on their, on their fucking MacBook Pro that are reading this about, I can't believe it. <laughs> you can be the judge for yourself. Whether you agree these violate the rules or not, the mods had to agree to the conditions. The mods simply wanted an yeah. explanation on why they had their user flares removed, as Cheetor had just removed them without giving them any warning or any heads up. This is so they dumb. They explained the point of these user flares was to make fun of people mm -hmm. who were using. 
I mean, this I don't think this is only in Reddit. Like in YouTube, is the same thing. If your video do something bad, sometimes I mean I know people that are getting banned without YouTube giving them information about it. They just get banned for just like that. They don't give you information. They don't give you second chance or something. Using there is reason, but they don't give you the information about the reason. They yeah. also argued that they're criticizing themselves, not others. Therefore, it's okay because everyone here is in on it. Either way, the mods said they'd be willing to change the world if they got them back. Monkey Donian! <laughs> what they wanted if they would just leave 2 Balkan for you alone. Now, if you look right. at the messages, it's clear Cheetor didn't even look at the response and just doubled down, saying that their word was final. And they would Bogar Mongo Horde. No it it said that. Because yes, yes, yes. <sighs> I don't know, man. But Am I a Mongo Horde? She was wouldn't stop there. They mentioned two Balkan for you was promoting hate and gave. It's a so. The music. It's a joke or irony. The music. Is not an excuse to allow hateful content. Yeah, it is. And I'm sick of pretending like it's not. That's the whole reason. Uh, like, did, what do we we do? We not grow up watching the Chappelle show. What it's a Chappelle joke. Show? We're just goofing around. It's so annoying. These people are so obnoxious. Jesus. He was promoting hate and gave examples. Yo, go. Hello, hello. Claimed that these yeah. posts weren't even promoting hate, and they also said they were trying to mm -hmm. keep the subreddit as clean as possible, but felt they were being unfairly treated and given too short of a leash. <laughs> they also pointed out that nobody on the sub was getting offended. Bro, the music. Keep in mind, we're the butt end yeah, of the. Yeah, nobody Bulgaria! actually cares about this. The only people that care about it are people that aren't involved. Wait, what is this? Greece, Albania. Former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. Huh? Mongol noises. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Why we are Mongol noises? I don't get it. Do I look like a Mongol? Bro, come on! <laughs> what is this? I cannot see because of us Mongol. Kosovo. Okay. Montenegro. <laughs> Romania. <laughs> oh, Moldova. Is this how Moldovan looks like? Okay, Slovenia and Croatia. I don't know either. Ah, bro, what is this Mongol noise? This is always how it is. Okay, okay, okay. Mongol noises about the people that don't understand Bulgarian. Takali zvučim na istinu. These jokes, but it was yep. a Are we supposed to be some kind of culture send of them what was Ching is, Ching is Han. You know, like, wait. But yeah, so we're, 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 we're the, the, the king of the world. It? Bulgarians are the kings I think of the world. So this is the problem, are we Maddie? savages? It's the Am I a savage? Hmm? Look at me. I mean, me. Do you think I look like this guy? Do I look like this guy? Hmm? I'm trying to make the same face. I don't think so. Like two drops of water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Done this before. <laughs> what do you mean? So you write a hateful manifesto and label it as a joke, so you bypass it? I think so. This is the problem, Maddie. It's that you... Like, how many of you guys have been around a person who's actually racist? Actual racist? I think. Me, it's very uncomfortable and kind of weird, right? Yeah. It's weird because... It's uncomfortable, it is. Yeah. So, the fact that you can't identify between what's a joke and what's not a joke, that's th that, that doesn't mean that everybody else in the world has to dial down the level of conversation because you don't have the level of social competency to understand what everybody else understands. By the way, one thing about Bulgarians, and I, I mean 
Bulgarian comments in Facebook, TikTok, and so on. I don't know what is the reason, but there is a lot of hate there. Like, people, I feel like these people that are typing this shit, they just found out about internet, about the social medias, and they just have no idea how to act there. And they are just super toxic, seeing that you can type really, really bad stuff there, and there is no consequences about it. There is no one, uh, like before you're standing and slap you because you said that he has a bad face or he's ugly or something. A lot of Bulgarians in, in the social media especially are super toxic for no reason. They they love to judge. They love to hate. This is the problem. Not everyone. Is that sure, and this is also there another is a lot. issue. You know, we talked a lot about cinema, right? And about how like movies have been dumbed down. Well, the reason why is because every single time that somebody tells like some edgy joke or says something like that. Yeah, and by the way, these comments that Bulgarian are making, if I say or show one of these, I'm pretty sure I will be permabanned. Like, they're crucial. Like, I don't know how your brain is even think that way. Stupid children and branded grown-ups. Not everyone. Yeah, I'm not saying everyone, but it's fact that there is a lot. How can we change that? Like, I feel like internet right now is a place without consequences. Like, internet just came out a few years ago. I mean, not a few years ago, but the access, the access to internet and social medias came a few years ago. And there is no control over it. And everyone is doing whatever he wants. And there is no punishment for you to be dickhead or dumbass. I hope that something changes because it's it's annoying. People get really mad about it. Everyone it's can say whenever again, he wants and we're dumbing everything down for the people that have the least social <laughs> skills and the least self awareness, and that's it. How privileged is it for a Reddit admin to not know what real hate is? Well, it's because it's probably it, it, this what do you think these people are do you think that they're actually part of like some kind of like oppressed a minority of people of course not if they were they wouldn't have time <laughs> to be reddit admins like these are just people that are in the west that have nothing better to do than tell other people in the world what they can and can't talk about it's like the it, it's the the pinnacle of useless job yeah marketing to the lowest common denominator exactly yeah People are fucking hypocrites, so they just want to tell other people what to think. And I think the problem is that, and here's the issue, is that a lot of people like me, like I try, and you guys might not believe this, but I try to be a reasonable person and I try to see other people's points of view. Good one. But I think that this is the case with me and also a lot of other people on the internet is that I'm sick of trying to see the point of view of a person who won't try to see your point of view. Yeah, that's... These aren't people who are used to, like, they don't, they want you to see things the way that they see them, but the moment that you ask them to see things the way that you see them, they call you a racist or they say that you're a bad person. No, <laughs> this is a two-way street. And the respect is just simply not given to anybody who doesn't think the same way that they do. And I find this to be very obnoxious. It's very annoying that... People can be joking around and having fun and everything is fine and somebody tries to reframe an argument about how, yeah, if this was a joke about killing, if Hitler made a joke about the Holocaust, would you be like, like, that's not what's happening. Like, it's just this, like, massive, like, emotional blackmail, intellectual dishonesty that I think so many people are so tired of. They're so tired of emotionally unstable weirdos trying to dictate the rules of engagement for society. It's exhausting. It's so exhausting. <laughs> Amin. <laughs> Someone in the comments said Amin. <laughs> and what was it? They pointed out that the posts mentioned Bro, the were music. against hatred. The whole point of them was to make fun of nationalists Jesus, in the region by parodying them to a ridiculous extent. They also claim that a Reddit admin should be helping them to make sure their community is within guidelines, yeah. 
not going on a power trip and harassing them because they don't understand mm -hmm. it. They even asked for contact with another admin who didn't have the comedic understanding of a four-year-old, but instead, she tore The made odds it. are it would be even worse. So every post on Two Balkan for You had to be filtered by the mods. Yeah. Keep in mind, it had over a hundred thousand users. Yeah. Basically creating a spam subreddit where no posts could be made and it was run into the ground. That's All right. All of this eventually culminated in the deletion and ending of Two Balkan for You. A sad Two day Balkan in internet Balkan. history. Well, what's, what's happened is that Reddit has become too big and they are too prioritized around trying to create a narrative and trying to make money through advertising and they no longer exist for the benefit of the users the users exist for the benefit of reddit and reddit back in like 2009 actually was one of the best websites on the internet you guys might not remember this but before like 2014 and even until like 2017 reddit was a really great place and i loved reddit and then it's just everything, everything got worse, man. Everything just got worse and worse and worse. It's a terrible long-term strategy. It is. It always comes down to money. I think that's what's happening. The Balkan philosophy stayed the same until the very end. We own the subreddit, but yeah. we don't own the community. The community owns itself. And that was the end of Balkan people internet. There you go. Good. Just kidding. They're back These on people fortune. have survived the strongest yeah. empire ah! and each other. You think some Reddit admin could kill them? Here is no! Balkan's eye on Yep, there we go. Of course. Yep, there Happen. we go. Another one. I guess it probably got uh, got changed there, but yeah, I'm not really too big of a surprise. Uh, not really too big of a surprise there or not. But uh, yeah. Uh, I think this is we pretty will funny leave to forever. see. I'll, I'll link you guys this video. Somebody just sent it to me randomly, and uh, I, uh, I'm i really glad to see this happen. I am uh, that people are pushing back against this. I think that, again, everybody, like, this is for me. I am tired of the rules of social engagement being defined by people who are afraid to answer their door when DoorDash arrives. I don't want this person telling me what to do and how to talk to people. I don't want to hear this. Stop it. Like, <laughs> no, I don't care what you think it's offensive or it might bother somebody. Sack the fuck up, stop crying, and if you don't like it, too bad. Just remove the hate.